a district court in Varanasi dismissed a plea filed by the Anjuman Intizamiya Masjid Committee and said that the plea filed by five Hindu women who wanted permission to pray at a shrine which is inside the Gyanwabi Mosque was maintainable. The court said that the plea filed by the five women was not barred by the Place of the Worship Act, the Vakaf Act and the UP Kashi Vishwanath Act. Now a chance for the Hindu devotees to present their case as to why they should be allowed to pray or worship at a shrine which is dedicated to Maa Shringar Gauri inside the Gyan Bhakti Mosque. Uh, the next hearing is on September 22nd and by then all the parties uh, are supposed to place their submissions so basically uh, submit their written arguments and then the case will go on from that day onwards. The case will now finally be heard. Apart from the, this main petition, uh, where, which is seeking uh, permission to pray at the shrine, they will also pursue supplementary petitions like getting Malwa removed from a portion of the mosque and uh, perhaps getting carbon dating done also, District Judge A.K. Vishwesha. And he read out uh, his 26-page order, but a portion of his 26-page order before a very restricted audience of just 32 people inside his courtroom. Everyone else was not allowed to enter uh, and only those who were directly connected with the case were allowed entry inside the court room today. The committee which manages the Gyan Bapi Mosque did not really react much to the judgment. Boom spoke to uh, Sayyad Muhammad Yaseen who is the Joint Secretary of the Anjuman Intizamiya Masjid Committee. And he said that he didn't really want to give his opinion or react much to today's order till he had a chance to read out the judgment. But he said that they would, uh, since the order went against their petition, they would definitely challenge this before a higher court. <laughs>